by introducing myself. See, I'm trying to figure out. Okay, um, my name is Yoko Pasham, and I'm one of the founders of Node One, which you may have heard of. And I've worked been working with Drupal since 2005. My role is lead solution architect, which in practice means that I do pre-sales, I do sales support, I basically figure out how sites work and how put together. I also do a fair share of usability stuff too. Sorry? Oh uh, yeah, no, you gotta ask the guys at the reception because they have to sort of change here. All right. <clears throat> All right, um, yeah, I was supposed to be in the other, the, the intermediate room actually, I changed it last minute. Um, yeah, so we have, um, we are 34 people, soon to be 35, and uh, we have offices in Sweden and Denmark. So I think we're, we're probably the biggest like Drupal only company in Europe. Um, I think so that there are a bunch of others, but they do like WordPress and Vima and not just Drupal. We, we're just Drupal. If the client comes and says, we want to build a site, but we don't, we don't want to use Drupal, then we're we talking now. No, you better turn somewhere else. Don't. Yeah. All uh, right, so what do we do at Node 1? Well, card games, as you all know. I, tomorrow I'm going to have a. Sorry? You guys, cool. Yeah, that's us, yeah. This is the guy I showed. This is Andres. This is Ruslan, and he, he designed the game. He's a. Uh, He's, he works for us uh, as a project manager, but on the side, he runs a company that designs card and board games. And um, we make Drupicons that wield nunchucks. <coughs> and this is from the movie we made before Paris. In this scene, Isabel Schultz, who actually was the, uh -huh. the organizer, the project manager for Drupacon in Paris, she is battling, as Slime the Ninja is battling on the, the Drupacon. Isabel actually works for us now in our office in Gothenburg. Uh, of course, the Drupal Rockstars, the Killing Killers, from Copenhagen. You know, you know the, the, the closing keynote. Uh, yep. Yeah. Well, it's it's all available on, on TV. At DrupalRadio.com, they shot the whole thing. So if you want to see it again, it's it's up on YouTube. So besides all that stuff, now the real Drupal stuff. We do pilot studies, help clients understand their business goals and how to translate into Drupal, uh, design usability. Really great web design. Um, you know, we have some really good designs work for us, which as uh, the previous session you must mentioned, like websites have to look good. They have to be attractive. Um, some really great developers um, who actually came up with NodeStream, which we'll be presenting tomorrow. Um, hosting and scalability, we had to. You know, very hard to find hosting providers that no one understand Drupal, its strengths, weaknesses, and how to make it scale. Uh, training, training, training ourselves, training clients, and so, uh, and so on and on-site consulting. Okay, so about early estimates. Um, right. I gotta get my notes right here, so. <laughs> so, um, what we present here is a method that lets you use your experience from previous projects to make an early estimate. And then, so what is an early estimate? Well. An early estimate is an estimate that you do early on in, in, in the sales process. When you meet the client and the client asks you like, how much time will this take? Where should I, where should I put my money? What will give me most value for my money? Um, so um, an early estimate is, uh, is an attempt to forecast how long the project will take. <coughs> All right, so. And estimating is a bit like looking at a picture of a focus. You know, you get a, get a very loose specification and you try to like find the details that will determine how long time it will take. Uh, and with some effort and some training, you will, f you know, you will, you will, you will figure out how, how you do it. It's just, it's, it's a matter of using a method. There's no, there's no magic to it. Uh, so, speaking of estimation, like, I guess all of you are here have done estimation. I mean, you have a reason for it. I mean, you want to be better at it, you want to maybe take less time, less boring. Um, so if you could raise your hands, if you recognize feeling this way after you, or when you're estimating, I'd like, i appreciate it. How many of you are frustrated? That's a lot. It has to have the room. Bored? Yeah, it's, it's kind of boring, isn't it? Uh, uncertain about how it's done. Or, right, so estimation is hard, obviously. It's, it's not easy and and we just kind of straight that there's no generic method for, for doing estimation, um, which is why we developed the early estimation method. 
Um, right, so we already talked about what an early estimate is. <coughs> uh, so I'm going to mention a bit about what, what's different between an early estimate and an estimate done in the project. Because they are, they, they, are di they are different purposes and they are done differently. Uh, so the Wikipedia definition of an estimate is uh, the calculated approximation of a result which is usable even if the input data may be incomplete or uncertain. Well, that's kind of technical, but I guess they correlate. All right. So when we do an estimate early on in the product, that's when we meet the client. The client says, we want to have a log. We can't work with what developers call user stories. User stories are like stories of user interaction. Now we have to work with something much bigger, which I call a feature. These are not the features you would find with the feature module, and they're not what you would usually find in feature-driven development. They are, they are basically discernible, like complete chunks of functionality. I'm going to break apart. I'm going to break apart some requirements later on, so you can see like what a, what a feature really is. Uh, right. um, and the purpose of uh, an early estimate is um, is to help the client, you know, spend the money wisely. It helps answer questions like how many hours will it take? Uh, what features will, will get us the most money? What features are risky? What features might take longer than expected? And could this be done better the group away? Like, do you guys recommend a better way of doing this? Even if it means I will have to change my requirements. Uh, early estimates are not used in planning. And the error margin is way too high. And the, re and the planning should be based on more well-defined requirements and on estimates made by the team. Uh, furthermore, the accuracy of an early estimate is, is low to medium. You can't expect more given, in, given the kind of the stage the requirements are in by the time you meet clients. Uh, but, but if you do estimates with a team later on and you have well-defined user stories, you can reach a much higher degree of, uh, of, of accuracy. Furthermore, uh, early estimates are made by a single person. Uh, putting, you, could put, you could put together a team to sit down for a day and early estimate, but it would take too much time. And the question is whether it would be worth it. Like maybe you have like a $50,000 project, would you would work for